technology changes are huge. Um, and it's going so rapidly right now that uh, we changed our Blackberries to smartphones. We've changed our laptops to tablets. And, and this has only happened the last few years. I don't know what's going to be coming out there in the three, four, five years from now. But with the fewer human resources we have, we have to make the one-time investments for the technology. We also have to train our people. We've got to take the time to look at the technology and which type of technology and the software and hardware are adaptable to our technicians, adaptable to our engineers and architects. I think there's a desire to have more collaborative kinds of spaces so that you can have technology in all parts of the room and the professor is no longer at the front of the classroom but can move all around. Um, in our buildings that are less flexible, it's difficult to reshape a classroom overnight and those kind of collaborative spaces to use technology require a little more square feet per student than not. Um, we've been a little bit ahead of the curve in getting technology in all of our spaces, so uh, we do have wireless everywhere on campus, which makes it a little bit easier. For the heavier duty software that you want to use in a classroom, that's where some of the challenge. I think the rapid advancements in technology have made my job much more fun. We're constantly learning new things. The learning curve and development is, is always moving higher and higher. So we've had the opportunity to really try some innovative things, uh, both for sustainability reasons and for efficiency and, and uh, long-term cost issues. So it's really made our job much more exciting. We have interval data metering that allows us to see data from consumption patterns of utility types every five seconds. We have direct digital control that enables us to control systems, HVAC and other mechanical systems with great accuracy in ways that we never have before. We have technology that allow us to manage and monitor buildings for occupancy-based control, managing energy only when buildings are occupied as opposed to managing energy when buildings are unoccupied. So there's lots of advancements in technology that help us tremendously.